Hello again, it's um, Joey John McGuire in a familiar uh, watering hole. And once again, I'm in the William Morris, that's a Weatherspoons pub uh, that I have been frequent, frequenting as of late. That's in uh, Hammersmith, London, United Kingdom. Uh, we're coming up to Christmas. And uh, it's quite fitting uh, for me to do a Christmas poem, I should think. Although I don't make a habit of it every year. Anyway, this is uh, a very gentle, uh, lovely, uh, loving love poem. Christmas love poem. Uh, for a very spe special lady who I uh, sincerely wish uh, was more than just a hello in my life. Especially for that special lady, it's called No Mistletoe Required. And it's the second poem in my latest book, as you can see, if I can get this right. Without freedom, life, there's no meaning. Picture of Joey Chan. Not a very good one, look like a prisoner. Uh, my freedom press that uh, the government, or shall I say the borough, of Hammersmith and Fulham. Uh, saw fit to take off me a few days ago, uh, which I am none too happy about. There you go. Without freedom, life has little meaning. That's a very big Christmas thank you from Joey John McGuire to Fulham and Hammersmith uh, Council. Anyway, back to the more pressing matter of reading my love poem. It's called No Mistletoe Required. Strange as it may seem to others how anyone would want to waste so many Christmases as I have done, that I would shrink away from society and all that ordinary people treasure is almost incomprehensible, but without doubt that is what I've done. Again, how strange it must seem that on the biggest day of togetherness that I choose to be alone, at a distance, curtains drawn and telly on, the lights all dimmed low, watching the minutes turn to hours as I wish the day over, as I have done for years. This Christmas shall be no different, and the few I may still have left on my horizons look set to be the same, as I am drawn to them only by avoidance of the many deep-rooted issues I have in allowing the trust into my life that would with certainty bring happiness. This Christmas is slightly different, though, as it seems to be holding out the hand of hope, maybe because of the card I was given yesterday, a card sealed with a loving kiss and a wonderful hug from someone very special who stole my heart without even knowing a long time ago. It is to her that I dedicate this poem as well as wishing her a very Merry Christmas. And in turn, I sealed this re response with a tender, loving kiss from Joey Joe. No mistletoe required, no sleigh bells in the snow, no choir singing, just a lonely heart awakened that now glows. That's something very special for Carolyn.